What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've done a ton of modifications, including some things that you have not yet seen. We have it finally lowered. We have a new spoiler in the back. We'll get into more of that in just a second. We'll do a little spin around before we get into the meat and potatoes of today's video because what we need to do is take a little break from modding and discuss in today's video why we went from a Supra back to a Mustang. We had that other car for a long time. So what brought me back to the Mustang? We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna discuss in this video. And truthfully, you guys know that I'm just a Mustang guy. I mean, the short and sweet of it, but there's more to it. Anyway, before we get into today's video, let's do a little spin around the car, show you the couple of things we've added that you have not seen on camera quite yet that really changed the way that this thing looks. Let's take a look. 2022 Ford Mustang GT, not a performance package, which is interesting. I've always gone for the more high-end trim levels of the Mustang GT or like the Mach 1. What I'm saying is I've always had the handling, or I'm sorry, performance package variant of these cars. This is my first one without it, which is kind of interesting to me because we get to really play with the suspension and truthfully, we're going to rip all that stuff off and do our own thing anyway. So this is kind of a cool uh, blank canvas to start with where it was, but we've added obviously a bunch of different things. You can see that we are now lowered we're going to discuss in a future video what we went with the ride quality uh, why I went the direction of the lowering springs obviously BMR but we've also added the GT 500 with the wicker bill spoiler back there from Ford that's an OEM piece I had a bunch of Ford rewards points which actually paid for that thing so it's kind of cool that it was you know basically free so anyway but let's take a closer look here at the stance this thing is perfect now and it makes these wheels look so much better speaking of wheels guys if you like this design go check out variantwheels.com use promo code xander13 at checkout to save a ton of money on your set of variant wheels custom offsets collars lots of different design we've got cold forge full forge options you name it they've got it but save a ton of money with that promo code plus you get free ceramic coating and free shipping free wheel cleaner and the highlight is probably free three-year road hazard warranty so if you buy your set of wheels from variantwheels.com and use that promo code it only works if you use the promo code you get all this stuff you get a free three-year road hazard warranty so if you bend one break one something happens to it they've got you covered for three years and i think it's like a 50 percent off after three years but yeah nobody else in the market's got a warranty like that on your expensive wheel setup so go check out the video description down below for not just wheels but for pretty much everything you see on this car or hit up my buddy ken at hpr automotive and he can get you hooked up on pretty much everything that you see here go fast parts cosmetics you name it he's got it he can get it go check him out all right so anyway doing a little walk around before we get into the video under the hood we have the corsa intake carbon fiber looks really good love the design and how it looks under the hood love the performance and i swear like i said it gives a little bit more throttle response and it gets rid of if you've got like a 22 and up it gets rid of that uh, jungle gym of plastic under the stock intake lid so you actually get some horsepower from corsa and you can see that we've got the front lip we've already covered that in other videos and let's walk around the car real quick real fast we've got like i said the gt500 rear spoiler with the wicker bill and it is amazing looking especially tied in with the gt500 rear valance back here and the corsa extreme variable exhaust guys again video description check out the discount codes and save some money on all your parts <laughs> and one more time looking i can't stop looking at this the stance of this car right now is absolutely on fire so we had like a solid three finger gap in the front and then you know like two in the rear the front end was like a mile high but now it's absolutely perfect we can only get like one finger in the front and then the rear all right let's Let's hop in the vehicle now. Let's go for a spin, a little talking head. Let's discuss why, my gosh, that looks so freaking good. Let's discuss why I went back to a Mustang from our beloved Super that I like so much. All right, let's fire her up. Let's have a talk, let's have a discussion. Why after, I really wanna get this video out because I owe it to you guys. You know, we picked up the Mustang, we just started modding like crazy, but now it's kind of at the point where, let me actually shut this exhaust up because we can. Let's go to quiet, oh, 
now we can have a talk. All right, so I owe you this video, and I've been meaning to make it for a while, but now that we've got a bunch of mods to the car, and it's kind of like what I would say, like kind of camera ready, I guess, you know, to what I feel comfortable with, what, the way that I kind of want it somewhat. There's still a bunch of parts on the way, by the way. But let's have a discussion about like why I chose this one, uh, what led me away from the Supra, and uh, I don't know if we're gonna get into like future mods, future direction yet. There's a bunch of stuff that we're gonna do to make this thing just absolutely nuts. But I guess we can go ahead and talk about like the, the nitty gritty of it. Why back to a Mustang? Well, you know, here we are five S550s later. I think I've owned nine or 10 Mustangs just all together. But this is like my fifth S550. And I keep coming back to this platform. I mean, the interior, everything about it, you know, this is a 401A car. So I have the leather interior, I have the ambient lining, and I have that digital dash. I'm like, I don't know that I could own this car <laughs> in its current state without the digital dash. It's just me personally. Um, if I didn't have it, I would certainly add it after the fact because I just love it so very much. But anyway, a bit, let's talk about the Super real quick. I like that car. I really did. And I will still defend that that's probably of my top three favorite cars. That's definitely going to fit into one of those top three. I don't know where in that list. I'm just saying that I really liked the Supra. So what led me away from it? And long story short was in the beginning of March. Anyway, my buddy Colton, he let me know. He's like, he was talking about some other car sales because he's a salesman. And he was basically saying that, hey, Ford's brought back, which is really interesting, by the way, because of all the pandemic, you know, freaking, you know, pricing and everything, price gouging and, you know, markups and all the stuff that we've had to live with over the past couple of years. Ford brought back zero through 1.9% on Ford Mustangs and they were doing something similar on trucks too. So I said, wow, go ahead and start driving as we discuss. So Ford was doing the zero through 1.9 and with Ford credit, I qualified obviously, you know, I've bought a million Fords uh, over the past, you know, several years. I mean, I wanted to come back to a Mustang for a long time. What I really wanted to have was a Supra and a Mustang at the same time. But because I bought the Supra when I did, you know, during the whole pandemic thing, you know, the prices were up. I paid a little bit of arc up, which I said I would never do, like I said. But uh, anyway, I was able to get this Mustang for like no interest. So like, why would you not? I saved, I was able to save like $300 a month almost off my car payment coming back to a Mustang. And I really wanted to come back to a Mustang because I know this chassis, I know this platform, I know what to do, what not to do, because we've learned some lessons along the way for those that have been following. But I love everything about the S550. I've had five of them at this point now. They had a bunch of different colors. They had red, they had grabber blue, which I almost bought, but uh, everybody was saying, go white, go white, go white. And it turns out that Oxford white is a very popular color. I didn't, I wasn't in love with it in the beginning, but after a few days, you know, I really did fall in love with it. And that was just because I was coming from the Supra and I really liked that car. I mean, I will not talk anything bad about that car. I really won't. And I think that um, a lot of you guys out there will appreciate that because I'm a car guy at the end of the day. If it drives good, if it's fast and it's tunable and it handles well, I'm all about it. But I've always favored the Mustangs and here we are back with one. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with this car over the years to come. The cheap, the, um, <laughs> the cheap, the payment is so cheap on this car that it's dumb to get rid of it after a couple of years. So when I first bought it, I referenced that maybe we'll buy a 2025 or 2026 at 650 at some point alongside this and that is still something that i might do i don't think that i'm going to pull the trigger on a 2024 for several reasons uh which we can discuss in a later video um truthfully if you want to hear the nitty gritty of it the short and sweet i just I'm still 50-50 on that car. I don't know if you're going to be able to tune them, at least not for the first couple of years. And I really like the S550. I look at the 24 and I see like a S550.2, which is interesting because anyway, it's got new interior, new exterior. I, I get all the creature cuppers and the, the new cool stuff that you get and all the cool stuff that you get with the S650, but I don't know that it's enough to move me off of 
the S550, especially for the price that I'm paying for this one, which is why I think it's going to be on the channel for the long, long run. I had my Red 19 for like three, three and a half years, and I think it's going to be a similar thing with this one, if not indefinitely, because, guys, no interest no interest you know so why not keep it you know the payments are so much cheaper we're not paying the bank to own the car too it's all going to pretty much principal so why not keep the car and have fun with it truth i'm waiting to see what kind of other specialty models come out i mean i'll talk more about this later i really want to see you know what the aftermarket support is going to be like for the new Mustang whenever it comes out and I think it's going to be a couple of years before it's like tunable time, time will tell you know time will tell but with this one being in 2022 the, the sky's the limit to what we can do we can do boost which is coming it's ordered it's going to be here hopefully in the next couple of weeks um, but we're going to be able to have a lot more fun with this car right out of the gate honestly i got to tell you that i'm probably not going to be hacking this car up like the red car so if that's your cup of tea is to see something uh just a crazy you know disaster that's not the that's not the plan with this car this this is going to be a fast streetcar build which i think is going to resonate and be more relatable to 95 percent of you know the audience out there I do want to give you guys what you want to see but this has to be for me at the end of the day this is my car my car payment my decisions and you guys can all respect that the parachute mounts on the back and you know all those crazy things we did before in the red car not going to happen to this one that's not the plan doesn't mean we're not going to push for power we are absolutely doing that but it's just going to be we're going to chase after that street build i think with this just a nice car we got nice wheels uh we're going to put some go fast parts on it eventually get a drag pack and do all those things and support big power which will come eventually but it's going to be more of a slow process i think so Time will tell, we shall see what things are going to look like as they develop and we story tell and you know, we share this adventure with all of you guys on the internet to watch for free. And uh, if you're here still watching, please subscribe because it's gonna be crazy. Even though I'm saying we're not gonna hack up the car, it's still gonna be wild, it's still, still gonna be fast. And I think that you guys are really all going to enjoy the content to come. Kind of why I'm not in a hurry to get the new Mustang 2 is because I'm still in love with the S550 and there's so many good things about it. Ford really did an amazing job when they developed and designed and engineered the S550 Mustang. And I just love it, man. I just really do. Back into my garage. We're going to go inside and have some lunch. And then we're going to get ready for the next video, which I'm going to be filming today. Something really cool and exciting. A new mod going on the Ford Mustang. But to bring this one to a close, we did take advantage of the Ford special rates, which allowed us to get into another Mustang it's going to be here for years to come. We're going to boost this car. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to race it. We're going to do all those things and get back to the uh, the content that I like to make with the Mustang that you guys all appreciate and love so very much. And I really appreciate, I want to say again, the support that you guys have given me uh, over that little break that we had the Supra. But we're back in the Mustang. And we've already done a bunch of mods. We've got exhaust, intake. Uh, we don't have it tuned yet. Because the Corsa didn't need it and we have wheels we have suspension we have all those things and we have a bunch more to come so we've got a blower on the way we're not doing turbo on this car we're doing blower but leave your comments down below what do you think it's gonna be so I said in the beginning and I've referenced this before in other videos that we're gonna do something a little different so I want you guys to maybe you guys can figure it out put down in the comments what you think we're going to do to this Mustang. We're gonna try to keep it like a fast street car. Uh, we're gonna race it, we're gonna do all those things, but we're not gonna drill in into the tank, put like an ice tank in there. We're not gonna be like putting parachute <laughs> mounts and stuff all over this car. We're just, that's not, that's not my game plan with this car. My, my game plan is to keep it nice. It's a nice car. It's a very, very affordable payment. And, you know, this is something I want to keep around for a long time. I'm going to wrap up this video. So I love the car. We're back in a Mustang. I've got people calling me on my cell phone. I need to answer. And we need to make this other video. So let's get this one out. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching. At the end of the day, I appreciate you watching. Get ready for fun, fast 
Mustang content continuously coming your way. God bless all of you, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.